Sorry about that. It is Tuesday, June 7th. We are looking at the micro ES, the S&P 500 futures. Uh, I'm not kidding around. If you could just catch this, you'd be done for the day, almost. There's 37 ticks. That's enough to cover your day, man. I'm not kidding. So in my opinion, we have to start taking advantage of these opportunities. Are we are we extended here or are we carrying on to the I, I think that it it comes up to test, doesn't like it. Let's see if it can test this again and not like it again. Doesn't look like it wants to hold this. Kinda chased that a bit and took it short there. What did I get? I got uh forty ninety three twenty five. 93.25. No. What did we get? Yeah, 93.25. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know if it'll hold this view up. And we're midpoint rotation. We're also point of control. So I think we should rotate back down to the 90.50. But that's my opinion. Look at that. Here we go. Uh, kind of missed that, right? Like, we should have waited for it. We do have 25 units on, so I'm going to want to take some off here. <clears throat> take some off, and I want to 93, 25, 93, 25 as a break even. Um, and we're, we're in, back to that low node now, so really, should probably take some more off, just because we're there. And then 92.75, 93.25, 93.25, that's, that's us. Stopped out. Well, there you go. I never thought I was a scalper. Um, you hold these until you can't hold them anymore. Um, scalp, swing, day trade, whatever you want to call it. You have to do all of the jobs, okay? You have to be able to scalp. You have to be able to swing trade. You have to... I'm not really good at swing trading, and... It seems that, like, I'm just saying that there's no point in letting this thing go against you, right? That's all I'm trying to say. So if it if it is a scalp, then the market made it a scalp. It wasn't because I decided to be a scalp. See, like, I'm a scalper. No, I'm not a scalper. I let the market decide that I'm a scalper. And we have to start learning how to change our bias here really quickly, because look at that long position. That was the best move yet of the day. Interesting. There's that triple top now, quadruple top. Uh, there's yesterday. Here's that uh, first five lots off was 50 bucks. The second five lots off was $62.50. And then our break even for the final 15 lots, which is kind of shitty. And look, we're back at stalling at that exact same spot here. So I don't know, man. It might go long here. Uh, it might go long here because we've touched this bottom. Now, we don't have to get to the 67 like I thought, but I mean, there's that low. That's the lowest node that it made it to, right? Like, look at that. That's super interesting. Now, there are like two-point ranges here, but I mean... And then what, back up to... We already did it. 97. So... Hmm, interesting. What do we do now? Is it going to take it low again? Huh. I guess to note, there's the, um, the VWAP is right there, and the point of control is right there. So it may want to hold this down. Again, if it can get above that, it's going to want to hold it up. So, not to be the Debbie in the downer room, but... You can almost have orders on either side of this to say if it breaks one way or the other, but 
really cowboy work there. I kind of took it at the breakout spot. Um, we'll see if that works. Long, sorry. Probably going to want to take some off of this. We'll see. I don't know if this is going to hold up. I don't want to try that stop in there too tight, though, right? Again, don't be a lazy trader. Just take the money, man. When it comes back... Again, our VWAP and our point of control are holding this up. Um, what is holding it down is this value zone, session value zone. Hopefully we can break out above that, the 4100. No tail candles here. We're right flirting with our price too. I don't like the way it, I entered that. It doesn't look great. Right, it's funny because your mindset goes like, oh yeah, just let it go. Let it run. Let your winners run, right? And then I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's in profit. Just take the profit, right? Like, yeah, so clearly our timing is off and I don't want to be on the wrong side of this, right? So I should put a stop in here at 92.75 just to kind of protect against it. There you go. Now we're into it. I don't know if I'd want to put a break even on that right now, but I'm definitely going to want to take some off. I want to get paid here, right? And then realistically, 98 would our stop loss. 98 with our stop loss. 98 with our stop loss. Just to be, I don't give a shit. What anybody think? It's just going to make more money. Here, stop it. Yeah, how tough is this market? How tough is this market? It is tough. But I mean, we would have been underwater again. Look at that. So I don't fucking care, really. We got to change your bias. You got to keep working. <coughs> Sorry. This just keeps coming back. And look at what a stupid move I was to get stopped out there. Damn it. Damn it. You gotta be fucking kidding me how I'm one notch behind. Now I'm chasing. Buying market. Now that was that was stupid. That was impulsive and that was chasing. That was impulsive and that was chasing. I was uh we're in profit though, so I'm gonna take some off there. Uh, is it going to want to push the rest of the way? What do we got? We got 41, no. 41.05 is our price. 41.05 is our price. Eesh, there, just hit it again. Do you want to take a small loss? 40. Uh, I gotta put it in there, man. Hundred dollar loss on that. Uh, how many ticks is that? Four tick stop out. If we do get it, uh, that'll just eat up everything that we just gave. It. Son of a. That just ate up everything that we uh, just earned. Stupid. Yeah, that was chasing though. That was chasing. So I'm not that. I'm good to get out of it, and I'm good to get punished for doing stupid mistakes, right? It's just a timing issue, man. Timing, man. Well, like, look at the value, like, I don't know. Look at the value zone it touched. So was that to pull back to further go lower? Chumpins. Uh, I don't know if I can get on this, because this sometimes really wants you to... <coughs> they want to take your money, right? Just like that. Look at that. What was that? See that? Take your money, 11 ticks, right there. You can't, I'm telling you, man, it, it's like a 30 tick stop, which is really too much. Like, you can't have a 30 tick stop here, guys. It's too much. You're going to lose a lot of money. So here it's going to break to the high side. Jumpins. Like, is it going to want to stop here and reverse? That's a lot of buying there. That's a lot of buying. That's a lot of buying. Like, we're talking hundreds, two hundreds, three hundreds, three hundreds worth of every second. That's a lot of lots of buying. 
So, is this going to want to continue? Damn it, we kind of missed that 98 there. That was the grab. Let's see if it hits that 98 again and, uh... We're going back to value. See, like, we've got right on top of point of control, right on top of VWAP, right in the middle. Is it going to want to rotate down? I think it would want to rotate down. So. And I'm going to want to take it at 96, kind of like at the top of this range if I can. Got our stop in place here just in case. See how it's fighting it? Short right there. Let's see if I made the right choice. Our timing is off, but I mean, it looks like we're almost right. But look at the buying after it does that. It's like, it's going to want to try and come back on you, right? So I'm going to want to take some off again. Same fucking process, right? Got to be quick about it. So, like, I don't want to be a scalper, but I mean, at the same time, I've got to protect your position here. 97.75. Zero, 97.75, and they're back at it, right? Like, they're right back on top of you. So, break-even is better than being a uh, loss, taking a loss. I, I don't know. It's it's hard to wrap your head around it, but I mean, it's you got to just keep working. We'll see how this works out. I'm not expecting big moves, so really I'm going to actually take another... I'm going to take some more off here. I can get paid some more. Fuck it. This market is actually, you know, it, I'm not here to tell you that I'm a scalper or that I'm not a scalper. The market dictates whether or not I'm a scalper or not. And then putting profits in my pocket is... It's going to tell me more about being a scalper or non-scalper. Um, so what kind of question is, are you a scalper? You know, you have to be everything. It's like, are you, yeah, yeah, I don't know. You have to have every kind of tool in your, in your, in your belt, bat belt. Yeah, what makes it a scalping because I took off two positions here in under a minute. Yeah, look at it come back. Look at it trying to come back on me. Like, should probably take more. Uh, we already took some, so whatever, stopped out. Jesus. Well, that was uh, 50 for the first lot, five lots, 50 for the second five lots, um, and uh, negative on that trail stop, on that uh, negative 18.50 for that final trail stop. And it looks like we made the right fucking choice. Right? Like, look at that. Just got to be quicker. Change your bias, man. And fucking change your bias, man. As quick as possible. Look at this move. Again, this is the best part of the move. 27 ticks. And I'm fighting for, like, two ticks. Ugh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, right? Like, look at... Look at the best parts of the move are... I kind of got some of that one, but I mean... Son of a bitch. This is tough, man. Now, are we extended, or is this going to keep going to the moon? I think we were on the upward. I saw the bounce here on the wider chart. I don't know if you guys, did I show you that? Yeah, like I kind of saw support here. I don't know why, but I saw support here. So it comes down, and I see it wanting to take support here. And f just keep doing this range, I guess. This is a, what is this one? This is a two-hour chart. So you're looking at, uh, there's May, there's April, right? Like, there's March, monthly. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I see a little bit of a bounce, but, I mean, what does that mean for today? That's that's the overall, it's tough. And look at, right back to value high. Interesting, right? Well, not exact, but, I mean, fuck, close. Now we're going to come back to, look at how the VWAP and the point of control right on top of each other well this is like 
really hard to get a handle on what it's going like how do you get into that right like on the one minute it's a little bit easier but i mean look at now are we extended um i'm not getting much out of this uh larger frame here so that's not gonna work way up above the value zone now the value zone will shift here eventually and then what is it going to lay support back on top of that like there's support right so you're waiting for a and then upward hmm. so you got to look at a lot of time frames so we're going to look at it from a further out time frame here and um see what we got here there's the point of control from two days ago there's the point of control from yesterday which were kind of almost right on top of that 4118s give or take right which is that hmm so is that going to get paused there where's the value zone it's way up there. That's that low node from Friday, Monday. Low node. Hmm. So tough one to read, man. Yeah, now it's becoming kind of like a, what do you call it, a short squeeze or whatever you want to call it, right? Like it's covering, people are covering. So it's not a spot to go short. This is where, you, if you get in front of this kind of stuff, this is where you're going to get burned big time. So you got to get on the train early, I would think, to go long here, um, because this could just want to keep going. After We need a pullback. I would like a pullback down into the 13s to hold this new area here, this little bridge. If we can hold that, then I'd want to take it, and I'd want to take it again if we're above 22s as well. Like, And it's going to want to trap you the whole time, so... Wider stops. Um, see, it's going to want to go here. Somewhere, which way. So I went long there just to try and get some scalp off there. We used a smaller size. Hopefully we can get above this 24 and give us a little bit of a push. There's a little bit of a chase. So again, I'm going to want to take this apart. Again, like it's like scalping, but I mean it's faster than... You need to do it fairly fast. Look at how it just screwed me there. I'm underwater now. Underwater now. Shit. I think we made a bad choice there. There we go. Our timing is a bit off, right? So we're going to want to close part here. But I mean, our timing is off. That's for damn sure, right? So we got 23 flat. The theory is there, correct? But I mean, our timing is off. So now we're going to modify to uh, break even. We took five off. We started with a smaller size there, 15 lots instead of, um, you know, you don't want to chase. But I mean, at the same time, 25, 25, 25, 25. Uh, there's a trail stop into place, and we just got to let this ride. I, I don't know what else to do with this, right? So, look at this chart. Like, it's just blown out, right? Um, yeah, we could easily come back down into 23. It's, it's all the reclaims. Everything is... It's just a, we're just going to let it ride. And now you're going to be like the biggest move, look at how much we missed of this. Look at how, uh, for a chase. That's uh, a chase, but look at, that's a spot. That's a spot, right? This is a spot. Those are decision points. Um. Yeah, and then when you put on less size, you're like, oh, well, that was shitty, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Well, what are you going to do, though? This is a tough market, so if we can take any type of profits, you're doing well. Should probably move that stop up, but I mean, I, I don't really want to. 
I don't know, 27. Might as well get some more profit, but I mean, because if it comes back to 27, week and a half. Yeah, so we got stopped out. That's not, uh, that was kind of a shitty spot to get stopped out at, right? Like, we got stopped out at, uh, 26.75. 26.75, that's like the fucking, right at the edge, you fucker. Should almost think about going short here, but I mean, seems a little... Okay, it's 20 to 2, uh, one thirty-nine p.m. Are we going to reject this double top area? I'm not really sure how to trade this. We're going to have to, I don't know. We're right on top of our <clears throat> five-minute uh, point of control here for the session. Um, kind of value area from Friday. High area from yesterday, but not the highest area. Interesting how these two curves are kind of lining up, eh? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it's 2.41 in the afternoon. It did break that line, but I mean, the way it's acting and the volume is so light, I don't think I can get in and anything so... Yeah, and that was uh, $531.25 of profit today. So, like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. That is how you're going to get your high fives. Until the next balance, everyone.